Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on June 9th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and disaster alerts from around the world. Looking at our sun as we had a filament eruption rip away here. Earlier images. And then as well, we have a sunspot region here that is active and did shoot a little something our way. That is an earth facing eruption, a little filament eruption. And as well, watching the outgoing spot here, getting pretty active as it's heading to the backside. Looking here at 304 angstroms, you can see the activity in that southern region sunspot. Definitely a either a filament eruption, it could even be a flare, a small flare. Looking here at the end of solar wind prediction, as we do have a couple cosmic waves that are heading our way, as you can see in the top spiral image. Looking at our real-time solar wind, as we did have a spike, solar wind spike up to about 450 kilometers per second, but it is slowly dying down now to about 300. But still watching quite a spike in the density, charged particles. And you can see that resonate here in the Schumann residence as we're looking at a pretty steady flux of energy. as we are at an amplitude of 62, 7.1 Hertz, 7.9 Hertz. Looking here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, and just recently here we had some earthquakes in Iran, a 5.4 rang off in Amor, Iran, at a 10 kilometer depth, but then just recently a 5.7 went off again in more Iran. So 5.7 and a 5.4 moving across into Turkey, a 4.4 there. Lots of activity throughout the Dominican and the Caribbean plate. Puerto Rico. Some pretty sizable 4.1, 3.8 there, 4.4. And as well watching some sizable earthquakes in Idaho and in Nevada today, 4.1 ringing off in Stanley, Idaho, and as well a 4.2 in Mina, Nevada. Many earthquakes in California, minor rumbles, as well the border with Mexico there. 4.6 ringing off here in Alaska, King Cove, Alaska, watching seismicity spread there. And as well, 4.8 here in Japan, in Susaki. 5.6 here, Indonesia reported. And then some deep earthquakes in Fiji, 4.9 here, 527 kilometer depth. And as well, a 4.4 at a 554 kilometer depth. So stay aware, prepared, larger shallower earthquake to follow. We're already seeing movement across North America. Chile with a 4.7 there off the Nazca plate. As well, 4.9 here in the Edinburgh of the Seven Seas, St. Helena, 4.9. So that's just north of the volcano, Michael Volcano, and as well the Belinda Volcano, the uh, South Sandwich Islands. As well, I wanted to note out here, the last few earthquakes here in New Zealand, they're not always being showed. You have to go down to the GeoNet and have a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes in this region. You can see seismicity increasing up to a 4.5 there today. Four point five there, a French pass, New Zealand. And just have a quick look here at the last seven days for this area as well. 
So New Zealand has had a lot of earthquakes recently, and this is something I don't point out all the time unless there's a lot of earthquakes. Let's look at the last seven days around the rest of the planet. Deep earthquakes, Tonga, just now, and as well South America over the last seven days. And look at this split right up the Atlantic Ocean, right up the Atlantic Plate, all of these earthquakes the last seven days. Very interesting. Could the American plates be separating still from the Africa plate? Of course they are. Our planet is ever changing. Look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Most recent activity there in Iran. But stay aware, prepare a lot of shallow and minor earthquakes straight across North America. San Andreas Fault, straight up the Cascades. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Just have a plan. Because come July, it's going to get real hectic for earthquakes. Let's look at, look at the Pacific Disaster Center here. Showing the most recent volcanoes being updated. Popo in Mexico. Reventador in Ecuador. Sangue in Ecuador. Sabincaya in Peru. Asosan in Japan. Dokono in Indonesia. Era in Japan. Kluchevskoy in, Rus in Russia. So that's about 11 volcanoes being updated just in the past nine hours. And look at all of these heat wave alerts already starting to pop up across the Northern Hemisphere. Southern Ontario and straight up into uh, Northeastern Ontario. Heat wave already. Mom stay safe and hydrated in the armpit of the humidity down in south central Ontario and watching here tropical storm Cristobal will be heading into northern Ontario and then you're going to be amazed at where this is projected to go in the next five days but watch as it collides with a low pressure system that uh, develops off the Col uh, Colorado Rockies watch for those two to join forces and bring quite an event to northern Ontario Across the Atlantic Ocean watching quite possibly tropical storm Dolly form here and then right after that after Dolly we have Edward and then quite possibly Faye and now Faye could be wrapped up in a whole bunch of dust as NASA worldview I'm, I'm observing a very large dust storm coming off of Australia I haven't seen a large one like this for years so and it's still coming off so stay aware prepared and stay tuned to morning dew we'll keep you aware and prepared as tropical storm Faye could be wrapped up in all that dust things are definitely ramping up and i predicted in the early hurricane season and it is happening so stay safe and please smack that like button Share with your friends and family from around the world. My research is definitely credible. And we're really going through a lot of changes together. So stay tuned. Overlooking the United, the United Kingdom as a very cold low moved over. Now something I wanted to point out here as well over the Atlantic Ocean were these strange little black dots that showed up on satellite imagery. And this was just ahead of a tropical storm, quite possibly a tropical storm, Edward. You see, you see those little dots show up? Now there are more of them at, at a higher quality image and they were moving in a circular motion. You can see that there, there we go. There they are, we'll put them, convert them. And you can really see that there was something buzzing around there and it was showing up on the satellite feed. This was in a live stream the other day. You can always go back and check it out yourself. There was definitely something in our skies ahead of this low pressure system that was heading through the Atlantic Ocean. Something I just wanted to share. And then something dramatic as well happened the other night. We were uh, surged with a cosmic flux across the planet. And just watch across North America as... The intertropical convergence is happening now. Watching these low pressure systems from the equator 
reach Greenland. Believe it or not, I mean, we're looking at a tropical storm, Cristobal, who's going to be going to northern Ontario. So it's very strange indeed to see such a tropical storm move so far inland. But watch. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor 3 New Mike, starting out here overlooking tropical storm Cristobal as it heads north. And look as it's going to head or crash and join with a Colorado low, which will be joining forces just over Kansas and through Iowa and then up into northern Ontario and watch snow on the backside of this storm to head through parts of northern Ontario and Manitoba as it brings very cool temperatures with it. Now, I've never seen a tropical storm go on a path like this. And in the five-day forecast, it shows it going all the way to Greenland. We'll get to that, get to that in just a moment. Looking at pretty cool temperatures here in western Alberta still. But things will be heating up during the day. So watch for pop-up thunderstorms, especially through Cal Calgary area, outskirts further south. Watching things really heat up across the United States. And no known uh, area of interest just yet for a tropical storm in the Atlantic. But definitely keeping an eye on things, as I pointed out there, the large dust storm coming off of Africa. Overlooking Europe, watch as a low pressure system comes from Iceland, cools things off, heads further south, and then is going to come back and hit you guys again, believe it or not. Looking at the five day forecast here, you can see it heading down to the coast of Spain, Portugal, but then heading back north. So interesting developments over there as another low pressure system comes in from the Atlantic. They could join forces there and head back to the United Kingdom. So stay aware and prepared, my UK friends and family, of course. Overlooking Southeast Asia and as well Micronesia, Indonesia, into India. Watch for monsoon season to really start to kick up a lot of moisture big low pressure system here affecting eastern India quite possibly could be a cyclone after it leaves the mainland of India it's just very crazy weather that we're looking at I don't even know how to explain it this forecast right now this is strange I mean look at this atmospheric river that is creating straight from India across um, Asia and then out through the Pacific almost all the way to BC I wanted to show you here at a larger picture and look at this line of moisture it almost encompasses the earth wow very strange indeed five-day forecast overlooking Australia a lot of moisture heading up the coastline straight up to New South Wales as a low moves in from the east and as well bands from a low pressure system south of Australia move in and bring quite a bit of moisture and you could see some extreme weather across Sydney in the five day and later forecast overlooking Africa not much to talk about except for tropical or sorry daily evaporation as well we've got some really cool temperatures moving in as a vigorous low pressure system here will be affecting the coastline Cape Town minus three in higher elevations of South Africa overlooking South America not much to talk about daily evaporation rains heavier same regions Panama moving north into South uh, Ecuador and Guatemala Heavy rains and heavy snow through Argentina. As large, vigorous, low pressure systems are affecting them. We've been talking about that the last few videos. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. Watch for very strange events as low pressure systems are literally scooting from one equator to the other side of the planet 
across Greenland. I mean, look at this in the five-day forecast. That is Tropical Storm Cristobal heading to Greenland. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. This was an extra long video. I appreciate you guys all watching. Wanted to catch you up on a lot as I haven't put out a daily do in a while, but I want to keep up with that. But I wanted to work on a few things, and this is one right here. The merch is ready, and the quick links in below. You can get coffee mugs, socks, hoodies, do crew hoodies, and as well, Daily Events Worldwide is alive. DailyEventsWorldwide.com, where you can share your videos, photos, and as well, any stories or articles that you'd like to share with the channel for a chance to maybe get your photos or videos onto the Daily Do. Thanks everybody for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye.